Hello and welcome to Chanakya's Face Off. Today is the birth anniversary of a very great personality, a very great poet whose contribution to the Tamil language cannot be ignored. He is the man who has given the Tamil Thai Varth. You're talking about none other than Mr. Manon Maniam Sundaram Pillai. And we have with us his great grandson. And he's going to share with us a lot of details unknown about him and the Tamil Thai Varth. And he's a doctor. And we have none other than Jay's Rajkumar from Lifeline Hospitals, uh, Chief of Lifeline Hospitals. And uh, it's great to have you back, uh, Dr. Vanakam, and welcome. Vanakam, Mala. It's a very important day. I'll quickly run through. Don't want to waste people's time. 4th April, 1855. It's the birthday of Manon Maniam Sundaranar Pillai. He was born actually in Alapi. And I'll quickly sort out how I'm related to him. My mother was also born in Alapi. My mother's father was Kalyani Pillai. Kalyani Pillai's mother was Papati Amal. The Pillamar, they called Papati Amal. Papati Amal's own brother. And the brother was Manon Maniam Sundaranar Pillai. So he's my great grandmom's own brother. All right, so I'm his great nephew, if you want to be very pedantic about it. Now, quickly, why is today important? Number one, when Eve Ramaswamy was running around with his shots in Erod, 13-year-old boy, in 1891, Nira Arum Kadal Urutta was written by Sundaram Pillai. Number one, he was the first one to use Aryam and Dravidam in a poem. So if you ask people who used Dravidam first, nine out of 10 will tell you it's Eve Ramaswamy. So you can see, number one, usurping a narrative, number one. Number two, the man was a great believer in God and really believed in this Sivanyana Bodham. And that is why in his poem, in this he had written there about the Parampurul. Yellayaru Parampurul mun irindabadi irpadupo. He was saying, just as God is eternal, I want Tamil to be eternal. Yellayaru, limitless, Parampurul. Call it Parampurul. It never, the, the Godhead doesn't change. Tamil also should not change. But just because he used Parampurul in the name of secularity in 1970, 1970, the DMK government headed by um, Karanjir Karnanadi removed it. And I want to put that out on the paper. I mean, you don't like his poem, use somebody else's poem. You use my great-grandfather's poem and then you knock off the lines as you want to. How can you do that? Number two, he had a concept about Aryam and Dravidam predominantly about the Arya Muri or Sanskrit. He loved this language and he said also, Aryam Pol Ulaga, Ulagam I'll explain it. Varak Karindu Varindu Siddhaya Un Siri Lamai Tirambi and the Sayal Varindu Varthi. What he said was, unlike Sanskrit, which though good, Varak Kirindu, it is not used. People were not talking in Sanskrit. By 1855, Sanskrit was gone. By 1891, when he wrote it, Tamil should not die down for lack of usage. That's what's happening now. English is taking over Tamil. It's a different matter. But it should not die for lack of usage. And he used Aryam as an indicator for the Arya Mori. But just this hatred for all that is Aryam, partner, all that, those two lines were also removed. The story doesn't stop there. He wrote Kannadamu Kali Telungum, a Telungu that is. Playing the word play, Kali, Kali Telungum, Kavin Malayalam. If you are going to talk about it, Kavin, Kavin, Nari Peri Chipang, like Kavin Kerr. Kavin is Arathi. Kavin Malayalam, Tulugum, all these four Dravida languages, Un Udarat Uditti Yedindu. Udaram is blood. In Kandi, Udaram Kotu Dari. Un Udarat Uditti Yedindu. That is, they came from your blood, Wundr Pala Yedindu. And all these came from one. What a beautiful way of saying, saying all Dravida languages came from one. They knocked it off because they didn't want any mention of Malayalam, of Telugu, of Kannada. Pirivinai Vadam, dividing people. And finally, I will tell you about the Parampurul. Yella Yeru Parampurul, he believed in the Sivanyana Bodham. I'm, I would like to end with this saying, I'm very proud that my great grandfather had one night full discussion with Swami Vivekananda when he was going towards Kanyakumari in 1892. He went down the west coast. He spent a night on a stone bench in Trivandrapuram, in Trivandrum, Trivandrapuram, where this man was living. And they discussed the Sivanyana Bodham. And then he went down to Kanyakumari, swam across Vivekananda Rock. The rest is history. 
a few years ago, my family people there, they took that entire bench, stone bench, and gave it to the uh, Ramakrishna mission because that was the bench in which Swami Vivekananda spent a night discussing as a monk, discussing with him. Finally, he didn't, of course, believe much in the caste system. And when Vivekananda asked him, Swami Vivekananda asked him, what is your Gautram? He's supposed to have said, I'm sorry, I don't believe in Gautram. But his movement with Vivekananda, his belief in God, his writing about Sivanjana Bodham, all these things were written about yet another great-grandfather of mine called J.M. Nallaswamy Pillai. Recently, some letters came to light written by J.M. Nallaswamy Pillai on the 19th of November, 1896. All these are now available on the net, saying how this man had such a deep interest in the Sivanjana Bodham, which is the very basis of Saivite, high-end Saivite philosophy. Avan, Aval, Adu, how Godhead is the basis of all that we call as he, she, and it, etc. So, to give people a twisted narrative that he didn't believe in uh, Aryam, he believed only in Dravidam, he didn't believe in the other languages, he didn't believe in God, he didn't believe in Sivanyana, Bodham, on his birthday, as his great grandson, as a person who was carrying his blood, I would like to clear it to the world and say he believed in all of these. Perfect. Thank you, Doctor. But I just have one quick question to you before you conclude. So, do you still think the threat that your great grandfather thought about like, you know, he doesn't want Tamil to get extinct. Do you still think the threat remains the same? Yeah, I mean, you ask people... Do you think it's it? just because of English or is it also because of any other Indian languages like I, I think Hindi? English is such a beautiful language, so inflectable. It takes over. You just do one thing. Tirukurulav, Sirivalur Sunar, Yenenba, Yen Yelitenba, Ibirandam Kanenba, Vadum Yirke. Yen the Ramukyam. That's why now Yen is more important than Yelit. When a when a Murumuri, Yen the Pombo, when a language dies, it, the, it's the numbers. You ask somebody, Yepa Tamil Kerin, Yepa India, okay, Namagunda, Sundra Katsin, nineteen forty seven. Arti Tolarti Napa Yen Namasodrama, Mudal Sundra Poratam Epa, eighteen fifty seven. So already in the Angira Akrami Pala, English taking over, aggrandizement, we're seeing the loss of numbers. Let us save Tamil by practicing numbers in Tamil on the day of Manomni Sundra Pillai's birthday. Thank you, Doctor. It's it's a great pleasure. Thank you for sharing these important insights about uh, Manon Mariam Sundra Cheers. Pillai and appreciate it. Welcome. Thank you so much, Pala. Nirarum kadaludutta nilamadandai keilolukum Sirarum vadanamena tigal parada kandamidhi Dekkanamum adir siranda dhradidanal tirunadum Dakka siru tirinudalum taritanarum tilagavumi